hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16 beta 5 you know follow-up review on both of this iphone so this is iphone 12 and this is iphone 10r i've been using this ios 16 beta 5 on both of these iphones for quite some time now it's been a few days so it's time to talk about the battery life and performance so the reason i've included iphone 12 as well because i don't use iphone 10r as my primary device although you know i use it you know frequently but i don't use it daily so the reason i have included iphone 12 because you know in that way you'll get a better idea about the battery life and the performance for older iphone like iphone 10r and for a uh, comparatively newer iphones like iphone 12 as well so make sure you watch this video till the end and also at the end of the video i'll tell you if you are on ios 16.0.3 or if you are on ios 16 stable series of updates whether you need to install this beta software or not so without further wasting any time let's just get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because this gives me a lot of motivation to make more such kind of videos for you guys now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so first things first let's talk about this iphone 12 first if I show you, if I go to the settings and if I go to the general and about section, as you can see, if I tap on the iOS version, it says iOS 16.1 and the build number is 20B5072B. And many of you keep on asking me this, how to get this update? I'm on iOS 16.0.3. How did you get iOS 16.1 in the first place? So look at this VPN and device management iOS 16 beta software profile. So this profile has to be there in order for you to get the iOS beta series of updates. So make sure you have this profile installed on your iPhone. Then you can obviously you know, check for software updates and get the beta series of updates. Now the same is there with iPhone 10R as well. So that's the reason I was able to get iOS 16.1 beta 5 update. Now if I show you this as well, so this is the similar you know build number that is there on iphone 10r so as i said in the initial video of mine of ios 16.1 beta 5 there's no new modem firmware at least for both of these iphones for probably newer iphones like iphone 13 and 14 pro have the modem firmware but this one does not have any modem firmware and also many of you were asking me whether you know 5g launching in india now 5g is officially available in some parts of the country now people were asking me whether with ios 16.1 you know beta 5 do we have an option to toggle 5g on and off so let me tell you i am using airtel on my iphone 12 right now as you can see if i just zoom in a little bit as you can see i'm using airtel now if i go to the settings and if i try to show you you see there's an option called mobile data if i click on mobile data and if i go to this mobile data options and if i click on this voice and data you only do have an option to 4g and 3g and talking about this iphone 10r this iphone 10r is an older iphone this does not have a 5g capability but this iphone 12 does have a 5g bands integrated so whenever you have a 5g update from your carrier then definitely you would be able to use 5g on your iphones but as of now you know talking about this video has been recorded in the month of october in 2022 so 5g is not implemented well across the country and and different spots parts of the city and even you know apple has not given a firmware update you know for the carriers to enable the 5g on their iphone so definitely it's not there but we are uh, you know hearing the rumors that the month of december with some updates apple will enable the 5g option so then you can actually come to this voice and data option and can select 5g so that's the thing so that's that's just something i wanted to clarify for all of you now talking about the battery life let me go to the battery quickly and first show you the battery health and charging section so as you can see after updating the battery health has not degraded at all it is still at 88 percent and i've been using this iphone you know 12 for more than one year it's been one year six to seven months and it's okay you know the battery has dropped uh, quite a bit but that's okay because for most of the time it has been my primary device so now if i talk about the battery life here as you can see uh, for last 24 hours the screen on time is five hour five minutes 
minutes and the screen off time is 52 minutes if i talk about last 10 days here so as you can see the average screen on time is 5 hour 5 minutes and the screen off time is 1 hour 41 minutes if you take a look at the application these are some of the social media application and important apps that i keep on using day to day basis now if i talk about the battery battery has never been great i would say on this iphone 12 and especially after installing ios 16 betas so that's why i keep on telling you people if you want to take a toll on your battery life and if that's your primary device so i wouldn't suggest you to install beta softwares right but talking the battery life the battery life is okay it's not that bad we can still live with the iphone 12 but talking about this iphone 10r I have been you know using this iPhone 10R uh, from a long time but I would say the battery life is actually not great on iPhone 10R I have used it for a day and like for 15 minutes continuously using after iPhone 10R it dropped like you know 9 to 10 percent that was something I did not expect out of iPhone 10R so that's how bad the battery life is on iPhone 10R but considering iPhone 12 it's a different scenario so if you ask me what's the update or what's the battery life with ios 16.1 beta 5 there's no straight answer it's different for every different iphone now i have an iphone 13 over here if i would have installed ios 16 beta 5 on this iphone 13 then the battery life would have been a little better right so this iphone 12 have you know i kind of have a mixed feeling about this battery life it's not good it's not bad but you know at the end of the day i actually have to put my phone on charge it is like you know hovering around somewhere between four to five percent and then i have to charge it in order to use it so that's something i wanted to mention now talking about the performance performance is actually good on this iphone 12 because uh, i went on a trip i captured many photos and videos so there was no lag in the camera i could actually take amazing photos and videos so you know many people were complaining about you know they were not able to take photos the camera application is lagging so i did not face such issues and also talking about the geekbench 5 as you can see the single core score came in about 1580 and the multi core score came in about 3979 also at the same time i ram the geekbench 5 on this iphone 10 r the scores of course will be a little low but have a look for yourself the single core score is 1111 and the multi core score is 2620 and performance wise i also felt that iphone 10 r is not that bad as well but if you're coming from stable series of updates and switching your iphone iPhone to iOS 16.1 beta softwares, there will definitely see a performance drop. Now, talking about the application crashes and all, I did not notice any application crashes. I I, I showed you this on uh, a previous video. So every application I had multiple banking application and the other application, all the applications are working fine. So there is no app crashes in terms of this update. Now, talking about the other aspects of the update, whether you should install this update, as I said in the middle of the video if you are on ios 16.0.3 and if you have only one iphone and that you use as your primary one then definitely hold off this is not the update that you know there are not like great features that you will quickly get it and then you'll be very happy about it so just hold off for uh, quite a bit you know probably in next few weeks we'll get to see ios 16.1 so with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know about you know my experience uh, of using both of these iphones iphone 12 and iphone 10r on ios 16.1 beta 5 you know that's about the battery life and the performance and how i felt about you know using both of these iphones on ios 16.1 beta 5 so i'm pretty much sure this video has been really helpful to you if you think that this video was helpful and you know you gained something out of this video do consider subscribing to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up it gives me a lot of motivation to make such kind of videos on this channel now with that being said i will see you on the next video bye bye